So, I'm going to be doing a review on Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. A new Marvel character to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, it first starts off with the history of the Ten Rings and the Mandarin, a.k.a. Wen Wu, who's actually the real Mandarin this time. Unlike Iron Man 3. And then it talks, and then uh, it cuts to a scene with Shang-Chi as a baby. And then him working in San Francisco as a, uh, yeah, a Lyft driver, or, no, 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 it's a, a parking valet, or whatever they are, I forgot what they are. And he has his postcard from his sister, while on a bus, you know, razor, hand, or claw, that's what his name was, attacks. Him and the, his, him and Katie go to Japan, or back to his birth home and then that's where they see the finest sister uh Zhang Wu I think that's how you say her name and before that we see Wong fighting Abomination Wong from Doctor Strange and then uh um then they find out it wasn't her who sent the postcard it was the Mandarin so Death Dealer shows up, they have a fight, and then they, uh, the Mandarin shows up, and they go back to his base, have dinner. He also talks about the, uh, the fake-out Mandarin from Iron Man 3, which wasn't the Ben Kingsley Mandarin, who was actually just an actor named Trevor. Oh, it was Trevor something, I forgot. But he makes... A return in this movie, again played by Ben Kingsley, and mentions it. Afterwards, they escape the facility. They go back to the village, where we find out that... We find out about the death of his... You know, Shane Chi's mother. And, uh... How he was trained. And then, after that... Wen Wu shows up. For one more battle. And then... Death Dealer's soul is sucked from his body just and so is when Wu's Shane Chi takes the ten rings he stops like the dragon like creatures from escaping cuts back to San Francisco and Wong shows up to you know ask for information then him and Katie go through the portal with Wong that's the movie but the post credit scene shows Mark Ruffalo as Bruce Banner, who's Armist still in the cast in Endgame, and Captain Marvel discussing about the Ten Rings. And after that, Shang-Chi, or Shang-Chi, Katie, and Wong sing karaoke, Hotel California. Yeah. And then there's a post credit scene with uh, Shang-Chi's sister, Jaylene, if that's her name again, you know, taking over the lead of the Ten Rings. And that's pretty much the end of the movie. So, uh, this was a good film, I liked it. It was a new Marvel movie, and it was, it was nice to see. Of course, The Eternals is also a new Marvel movie, so a new origin story movie for the MCU. I can't wait for that movie. So, uh, yeah, that was my review on Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Bye.